Hey, this is grammar warm-up number six. So follow along and make your corrections as we go. All right, our sentence, the flock of wild geese landed on the smooth, clear lake. All right, number one, underline the complete subject of the sentence. Okay, so this one actually says complete subject. So we wanna make sure we do the complete subject. What is a subject? Well, a subject, if you remember, is who or what the sentence is about. You can also tell the subject because they're the ones doing the action. So who's doing the action in here? What is this sentence about? Well, it's about the flock, right? So the simple subject would be the or would be flock. However, the complete subject would be the flock of wild geese. So let's underline that. Okay, so there is your subject. Uh, number two, circle the verb. Well, what is the action that the flock of wild geese is doing? Well, they landed. So circle landed. All right, uh, number three, highlight the adjectives. What are adjectives? Hopefully you remember. Adjectives, they're not just describing words, but they describe nouns. So make sure that the words that you're looking at, if they describe a noun, it's an adjective. Now, I don't have a highlighter, so I'm just going to use a yellow one to kind of underline, okay? So we have geese here, which is a noun. What type of geese? Well, it's wild geese. So this is my highlighter, okay? Um the landed is a verb. Lake is a noun. What kind of lake is it? Well, it's smooth and it's clear. Okay. So our adjectives that you should highlight are wild, smooth, and clear. Okay. All right. Now let's write this sentence out. Well, our first correction that needs to be made is we need to start with a capital letter, don't we? Duh. Okay, now let's look. Flock of wild geese landed on the smooth, clear lake. Well, most of that is correct. So if I were to read up until there is a correction, I would say flock of wild geese landed on the smooth. And I would stop there. Why did I stop there? What correction needs to be made after that? Well, we have two adjectives together. And when you have, it's kind of like a list of words. If you have two adjectives together, you separate them with a comma. So the flock of wild geese landed on the smooth comma and then clear lake. Am I done? I hope you're saying no, because what do we need at the end? This is a statement, so we need to end it with a period. So the flock of wild geese landed on the smooth, clear lake. All right, now, number five. Circle the verbs that are in the past tense. Remember, past tense means that it happened before, okay? So one good way of knowing past tense, if it's a regular verb, you um, show past tense by ending in ed. So we know that showed is past tense, okay, because it ends in ed. Come, that's present tense. If it was the past tense of that, it would be came. Trying, that's a participle. We're not going to get into that. But if it was past tense, it'd be tried. Felt, it doesn't end in ed. But this is one of the irregular verbs. And if it's present tense, it would be feel. So past tense would be felt. So felt is past tense. So we circle that one. So the two past tense verbs are showed and felt. Okay, make sure you make your corrections before um, you stop. And, but keep this until we're done with all of them. Okay.